Hey you guys, happy Mommy Pro weekend, Friday at 7.30 in the morning. Um, I am actually ready to go because I have my very first uh, iron infusion uh, in about an hour. So not looking forward to that. Um, trying to be the mayor of Cool Guy City right now and acting super ultra chill like nothing's bothering me, but I really need to pee every five minutes because I'm a little scared. Uh, you know, the funny thing is that I handle feelings very well. Um, I'm very emotionally aware um, and I know when things are bothering me and I can properly articulate what I'm feeling. However, when I'm scared, I don't have a clue what to do with that feeling. <laughs> so I just laugh nervously and pretend I'm not scared. And then it's even worse. So I think the only reason that I'm nervous is because um, anytime I've had to get an IV of any sort, either when I had my C-sections with my boys or any other situation that has happened in my life, um, I get very lightheaded, extremely nauseous, I throw up, wherever I am I just vomit, um, and I get really cold. And for the extent of the IV in my arm, I'm freezing cold. So um, I know it's a natural reaction for certain people um, when getting an IV, so that kind of makes me nervous and the funny thing is it's not like oh I don't want to get nauseous and vomit it's I don't want to get nauseous and embarrass myself in front of a room full of strangers that are like look at this chomp just getting iron infusions and she's vomiting <laughs> oh, I'm nervous <laughs> anyway so let's fill up the time with a little outfit of the day action um, and a little overview of our weekend so this is our outfit of the day um, this sweater is one of my absolute favorites I have it in two colors um, I actually bought this on recommendation from um, Miss Steph Willis um, on Instagram and um, YouTube. Such a, such a, such a sweet, amazingly gorgeous, beautiful girl, woman. I think we're like the same age. Um, she's also a mommy. And every time I saw her wearing the sweater, I was like, I need that sweater in my life. And so she did a post about it being on sale at Nordstrom. And I was like, mm, every color at to cart, to got in baby blue and olive. You probably can still find it. And then just my usual Hudson jeans, um, some knee high socks and some riding boots, nothing major. Um, but the reason I wanted to wear the sweater is because it's kind of like a cold shoulder sweater except it's a cold elbow shoulder I think we're trying to make it happen so my mentality is when I get to the hospital or to the clinic um, I'm pretty sure the IV goes in your arm right a lot of places do it on your hand but my hands as you can tell are very 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 thin and super bony and I really don't like it it's super uncomfortable so um, I asked for it to go in my arm um, and so I'm thinking I could just pull my arm out right from the little hole like this so I could just sit there with my arm hanging out um, and then whatever needs to happen happens I was also thinking this is like my secret, like my, I'm going to tell you a secret face. Look at my freckles. Um, I was also thinking that I need to do arm swatches on certain eyeshadow palettes for some videos that I have coming up and I have to sit there for five hours. So I may or may not have some eyeshadow palettes in my purse that I'm taking with me so that I could do that while I'm there. I know people are going to look at me like, is she, is she there? Yeah, she is actually. <laughs> so, okay, this weekend. At 7.30 right now, I have to go uh, to the hospital for five hours. I should be home. My plan today is to just come home and be completely comatose for the rest of the day. Do you guys like my arms still hanging out? Um, just relax. One of my friends offered to come over and hang out with me and like bring dinner and stuff. I don't know. At some point this weekend, I want to do HelloFresh for you guys, but I want to do HelloFresh for you guys because <laughs> there's an additional service that they're providing. Do you guys know I sacrificed myself for you guys? And I'm not going to confirm or deny that it's basically... Hello Fresh wine. Yes, you heard it here first. Um, so I'm excited to try that. I'm not a big red wine drinker, um, but they do have this service where you get six bottles of wine delivered to your door once a month and you can ask for all white all red or mixed. I got mixed just so I could see the variety. Um, but with red wines, either way, like even though I'm not a big fan of drinking them, I am a very big fan of using them to cook. So anytime that I do like a very slow braised anything, I'll add like a full bottle of wine and it makes it taste really good. If you're not familiar, when you cook alcohol, you cook the alcohol out. So it's not like I'm a total lush, you guys. Not a total lush. <laughs> So I'm excited to do that for you guys. So I have to do that at some point. And then tomorrow, um, 
I did have social plans earlier in the day. I don't know if they're gonna happen though. I haven't like touched base with anyone. I don't know what's happening. Um, and then Saturday afternoon, I'm going over to a friend's house. His daughter is turning 11 and he asked me for help on ideas on how to like entertain 11 year olds at a sleepover. And I'm like, bro, I got this. You know how I feel with little girls. Like when I was teaching in high school, I loved teaching because I feel like when I look back when I was younger, there were very particular women in my life that served as really good role models and guidance. So if I can invest a few minutes or hours with young ladies and I could to some capacity contribute to their development or inspiring them or just guiding them in the right direction, even if it's as basic as like makeup, I'm gonna jump on the opportunity. So my friend, um, he's a single dad and she's turning 11 and he's doing a birthday party. And I was like, oh my God, you should do like a selfie station and you should do this. And he's like, what is a selfie station? And what are sheet masks? And I'm like, bro, you need me in your life. So I'm gonna head over there in the afternoon, evening and like play with the girls. And you know, know, I was thinking we could do sheet masks. I could do their nails, maybe put on some makeup. They're only 11, so mm, you know, nothing too major. And then do like a selfie station. So I was like, oh, maybe I could take like my ring light and they could take cute pictures with like a Polaroid, um, uh, with like an Instax camera with like those Fujifilm ones that like spit out the Polaroid. What I, I'm totally combining brands, aren't I? Um, but I'm also bringing my Polaroid Zip, which you guys know I'm a fan of, and then we could print out their little pictures. I don't know. I'm excited. You know, I love having these. I like having social plans, like hanging out with my girlfriends or going out to dinner with someone um, where it's not like always a date, always a date. That gets old and exhausting and just it's not comfortable, you know what I mean? I like comfort, and so being around like a familial setting might be kind of the best thing that I need, especially after um, this whole infusion thing. Anyway, enough of that long introduction. The next time you guys see me, I may be at the hospital, or if I'm not doing too well, it may be at home in that bed, maybe eating a bag of chips or asleep. Then actually, if I'm asleep, you won't see me. If you're seeing me while I'm sleeping, then we need to talk. Hey, hey you guys, it is 9.30. Um, I am just sitting here. Um, so the treatment itself is five hours long, but it's gonna be closer to six because at the beginning, they need to like set you up and see if you're allergic to the medication. So currently, this is what's happening. So they gave me about 5% of the milligrams that I need. Um, and if I don't have a reaction, then they'll put in the rest. Uh, and I get to be here for five hours. I should have brought a lot of food. Like, what better way to spend my afternoon or my morning than to eat for five hours? Y'all know I like to eat. Um, I didn't even have breakfast though. But a friend is here sitting with me right now. Um, and uh, he's gonna go get me a burrito. Just kidding, I told him to get me fruit. Whatever, you guys. I'm gonna pretend it's a burrito. Um, anyway, that's all I got for you. Why are my lips so pink? Can you believe I'm not wearing anything on my lips right now? Just chapstick. It's the nerves. <laughs> thing takes about five hours. I think I'm gonna be here for a lot longer than that. I should put out like a Craigslist ad. Hey, someone come keep me company for five hours. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a long day. They said there's a lot of side effects, but a lot of people don't feel them. I hope I don't, because this lady has stuff to do. Like eat a whole pizza. You know, the huge. Anyway. I wish I had more exciting stuff to share with you guys, but I don't. Hey you guys, it's three o'clock. Look at that. <coughs> Bag is empty! Yay! Hey you guys! 
Uh, so I just got home. It's four o'clock. Um, I feel great. I am like really drowsy and I could go for like a seven hour nap, but I feel really good. Like my arm, I can't move it at all, but I think it's because sitting there for almost six hours with my arm and not moving it, obviously it lost practice. <laughs> But other than that, I feel pretty good. Like I feel, I don't know, I just feel great. Um, so I'm a little nervous about tomorrow because they say the next day is when you get all the like yucky feelings. So what I think I'm gonna do is, and I don't, I don't like doing this, but I think it might be a good idea. I'm gonna pre-medicate myself. Like I think I'm gonna take some Tylenol so that I'm not as sore tomorrow maybe. Um, because tomorrow I'm gonna help a friend with that slumber party and I wanna make sure that I'm like 100%. I feel like it's gonna be so much fun. So yeah, four o'clock, I think I'm just gonna figure out something to eat right now. A friend of mine, Kevin, you guys remember I told you about Kevin, um, my friend that um, helped me with, uh, I don't know, I've told you guys about him before. He, uh, he said he was gonna come out and hang out with me for a little while so I'm not by myself, which I thought was nice. Um, so maybe I'll convince him to bring me a cheeseburger or seven cheeseburgers, whatever. You guys are judging me, aren't you? I need to get back on this diet for real. I need to get back on this diet and I need to start going to the gym again. Um, but I just, I don't have like the physical and mental capacity to add one more thing to my plate. And so one thing had to go and that was the gym and I feel awful about it because I'm paying for it. But I don't know why I'm feeling hopeful that once I get like my health back in order and everything is good and ready and, and awesome that um, I'll just have the energy to to have like a balanced schedule, you know, and make working out and stuff part of my routine. But anyway, that's all I got going on for you guys right now. Um, I was actually waiting for UPS delivery and they said it's at my neighbor's house and my neighbor's not home. So I'm getting a little nervous. It's a box of wine, you guys. <laughs> All right, so I told you guys I was helping my friend out with uh, his daughter's slumber party. So what I was thinking is doing like a little selfie station with them. I was like, oh, we can do, you wanna say hi? I know you do, I know you do. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? What's up with your off the shoulder sweater, huh? What's up with your off the shoulder? You are too good looking for your own good. Cover that up, cover that up. He gets itchy, so he like scratches himself against the stairs and stuff, and so he gets the off the shoulder look. Anyway, so I was telling you guys, I was thinking like a selfie station. So I got some of this Fuji film, um, and this is the really cool kind that has the fun borders. Here's another one. This one has stars. You wanna say hi too? Hey, wanna say hi? You're investigating, aren't you? And then I got this. This is for the Polaroid Zip, which you guys know I'm a fan of that little printer. And then I got Fuji emoji paper. How cute is that? I wonder what it looks like. I hope it's good. I don't want it to be like a super like wah wah. I also ordered these um, uh, speech bubbles. They're like thought bubbles with sticks. And so I was thinking the girls could write a cool fun message for the birthday girl using uh, chalk markers. Um, and then also these uh, foil curtains for like the backdrop. And her favorite color is blue. So I got blue. But deep down inside, I'm like, well, I am a girl. And I think once seeing this one hanging up, it might look a lot cuter, you know, just because they're girls and we're gonna be doing makeup and stuff. However, we need options. Can we talk about the snail polish, please? Like, isn't that crazy? This is like the only thing I put on my Instagram for like a week. Isn't that beautiful? The pinky nail, though. That is a glitter polish from Julie G. It's called Little Fairy, I think. Then look at that hollow action. Anyway, so this is some of the stuff that I got for like the selfie station. Um, thought bubbles. Oh, and then this one here. These are pretty cool. So these are emojis. These are like 10 and 11 year old girls. So I thought this would be super fun. Um, these are all the emojis that come in here. And so what you do is you put these sticks, you attach them to the, act. whoa, this is the inappropriate emoji or rather this is what I use it for. Um, but aren't these cool? So it would look like this. Does that look like me? That's cute, huh? Isn't that super cute? I never use this emoji though. I kind of find it obnoxious, the one with the tongues. Anything with tongues, I think it's obnoxious. Let me find my emoji. Considering I talk to Sam all day, this is my emoji. <laughs> Isn't it? Like this is totally my emoji. Like current state of my life, always talking to Sam, always laughing. Hey, hey you guys, eight o'clock. Do you wanna hear something a little ridiculous? So I got home at four. I have those little emojis that I was showing you guys. And then I was so hungry 
Get ready for it. I ate two bowls of soup, a large salad, and two sandwiches, and a big giant glass of milk. <laughs> And I'm wondering right now why my stomach hurts. I was like, oh my God, this iron infusion is making my stomach hurt. I'm like, is it though? Or is it because I shoved my face with 42 pounds of food? I pretty much ate a six year old. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I was so hungry. I don't think I've ever been that hungry in my life. Like I was insatiable and not in the good way. <laughs> I couldn't stop eating, I was so hungry. And I was sure that like, oh, the soup would do it. Oh, the salad. And I'm like trying to be all like cognizant, like, oh, in case I don't feel good, I'm just gonna eat a little bit. And I was like, ah! <laughs> it was awful. And so I sit on the couch and I'm trying to catch up on my DVR. And then before I know it, I was asleep. I just fell asleep, I couldn't keep my eyes open. And I started to get this like, really intense stomach pain, but it wasn't like, you know how you have stomach pain where you're like, I need to go to the restroom, or I've been sitting down too long, or cramps, you know, there's specific types of stomach pain. This is one of those stomach pains that was like, it felt like, almost like stress, like a stress tummy ache. And then, and I still have it right now, this like, sour metallic taste in my mouth. It's like the worst. So I just fell asleep. I got really thirsty, I drank a lot of water, and I just fell asleep without knowing it. So I fell asleep from like 6.30, from like six to seven almost. And when I checked my phone, I had like all these missed calls, mixed texts, and people are like, are you okay? You're not answering, is everything fine? And I'm like, oh my God. So I had to do like um, damage control. I had to like text everyone back and call them back. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm sorry, I fell asleep, I fell asleep. Um, but right now it's eight o'clock, I'm just gonna wash my face and then go to bed. Um, I have a long day tomorrow, so hopefully these body aches or whatever that they're saying I'm gonna have tomorrow aren't as bad as they're making it seem, because mama has a long day, you guys. So that's it, wash my face, go to bed. <sighs> Thanks for coming with me today, you guys. You're the best, you're the real MVP. I actually had a friend that sat with me the entire time. He was there with me, he picked me up, he took me, he stayed with me, the infusion took six and a half hours as opposed to the five, and he was there the whole time. My mom was like, you know what, Danny? Friends that show up to you when you're sick or in jail, those are your real friends. But you know, the thing is, I have a lot of great friends, especially here in Dallas. I've made a lot of amazing friendships and so many of my friends, you know, my girlfriends and stuff have offered to take me and offered to drop me off. Even uh, Mr. Pitt, my dog behaviorist was like, dude, I'll take you. Um, so many people offered to help and show up for me and were kind and so many people have checked in, my neighbor and everything. Um, I'm just, I don't let people help me. I know it's one of my biggest, biggest flaws is I'm not gracious accepting help and I need to, I really do, I really need to. I just feel like it might be a slippery slope. Once I start asking for help, it's over. I'm gonna be needy and I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need all the help I can get. <laughs> so I'm like, I got this. And then I'm like, I don't got this. Please sit with me here for seven hours. <laughs> anyway, uh, long day tomorrow, I have to get up early. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, hey, happy Saturday. It is 6 a.m. Um, can we talk about this right now? Do you see what's happening? Hey, Mern. Hey, Mern. Hey, Mern. Hey, Mern. Hey, Mern. You wanna be, be on the camera? Say hello. Say hello. Anyway, um, super awesome, exciting news. So yesterday I got an email that Brett Young is gonna be at Billy Bob's. Um, Brett Young, that's all I'm gonna say about that. So all day when I was at the hospital, I was trying to buy tickets and I couldn't, there was a problem with my login. Well, apparently there's still a problem with my login. So I was like, F that, I'm gonna go in without a login and I bought tickets. I totally bought tickets to a concert. I promise you, that the same thing that happened with Chris Young is not gonna happen with Brett Young. Even if I go by myself, you guys. It's the honky tonk, like you'll make friends. Um, so good news on that. My vlog went up a little bit late, um, like 10 minutes late, so it's no big deal, whatever. Um, but today, uh, I feel like I was gonna tell you something. What was I gonna tell you? I need to take a shower, I need to get ready. I have a lot of stuff to do. Oh, my infusion! Dude, you guys, I called Sam this morning. Yes, I'm a freak, I call my friends this early. I called Sam this morning, and I'm like, dude, I have spidey senses. So I've always been able, like my olfactory sense has always been really weird. Like it's always been hella strong, and I could hear through walls. 
Okay, maybe not through walls, but I tell my son that I can just because I know when he's up to no good. I swear to you guys, I woke up today and I'm like walking faster, talking faster. Uh, I can hear and smell like crazy. I feel like when I was pregnant and everything smells extra strong to you, that's what it feels like. And I just have like a really faint headache in the back of my mind. Um, and then my two arms feel a little sore. Aside from that, I feel amazing. Let's hope that this was some like magical miracle cure and uh, I'm gonna be all better now. Anyway, I'm gonna take a shower, get ready with my day. It's a long day, it's a long work day and then it's gonna be a lot of fun, uh, long fun slumber party night. Uh, and I have a date tomorrow. Ah, it's totally last minute. I was supposed to have a date today, but I was like, Meh, just in case I don't feel good, we should just cancel. Um, but you know when someone like really shows interest in you and they're like, whoa, no, you can't just cancel on me. We gotta at least reschedule. So I was like, okay, I'll see what you're doing. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Do you wanna say hi? Do you wanna say happy Saturday? Say happy Saturday, everybody. Say happy Saturday, freckle face. Who's the number prettiest girl in the whole world? Who's the number prettiest girl in the whole world? Is that my mark? Is that my mark? Oh, my mark. Freckle face. Oh, my mark. Show them your wing liner. That's really nice wing liner. Should we do wing liner today, huh? So we can match? Yeah? Why are you so pretty? Why are you so pretty? Why are you so pretty girl? Why are you so pretty girl? Why are you so pretty girl? She's like, is that love or abuse? I'm very confused. Hey, hey, you guys. 10.30. What do we think? Uh, a little excessive on that Rudolph situation, but look at this eyeshadow palette. Isn't that amazing? That's the um, Leanne, Kristen Leanne collection from Urban Decay. Lip color too. The lip color, just the lipstick itself is from her collection, and then I added some of that same eyeshadow from the lid on the lips to do like a metallic sort of gradient look. What do we think? Do we like it? You guys, it's literally impossible for me to not... Do a pop of color, ever. It's either like warm brown neutrals or a pop of color. Uh, anyway, I have to go downstairs and take a couple of, pi why do I keep doing this? I'm like jittery. I have to go downstairs, take a couple of pictures um, for a Maybelline ad that I need to do on Instagram. It's that new mascara that I told you guys. I've been using it nonstop. It's the um, Lash Temptation. I talked about it in a Get Ready With Me. It's also gonna be one of my favorites. It's such a good mascara. So that's what I'm using right now and I have to go take a couple pictures. And then I also have to do a HelloFresh today sometime before I go. I still have to pack my makeup, pack my polish, go to Sally Beauty and get some uh, product. Needless to say, my day today is gonna be super nonstop, but I don't mind because I love having things to do and I feel great. We're doing it, y'all. 12 o'clock, making lunch. Who eats steak for lunch? This one. You know what? From now on, I'm gonna use that excuse for everything. Like if I get invited on a date, I'm gonna say, can we go eat steak? I'm, ve I'm severely anemic. <laughs> I'm the worst! <laughs> so what we're gonna do right now is we are gonna do the saucy thyme steak. I love thyme. I love thyme and sweet potato anything. So what this one is, is like a sirloin steak with like a thyme demi-gloss and then uh, sweet potatoes and green beans. Green beans, amandine, which is just a fancy French way of saying your vegetables have almonds on them. That's what I like about HelloFresh. They're like fun, convenient, practical. They educate you, but they make you feel a little fancy. But the moment you've all been waiting for, I really like my job, you guys. Let me, I don't think I say that enough. I love my job. I just got, a delivery of six bottles of wine to my house. Thank you, HelloFresh. So HelloFresh has a new service where they send wine to your doorstep. Yes, wine to your house. Six hand-picked, specially for you, awesome bottles of wine to your house. Like I'm still in shock. 
But you know what's not okay is I've had that box there waiting and I haven't opened it because I want to open it on camera with you guys so that you guys can see my face, how excited I get when I'm talking about wine. Keep in mind, you guys, you have to be 21 and over. Like, duh. I'm 21 plus 12. Figure that out. Anyway, so do you guys want to see? You want to go look? Okay, so we opened the top part. What does this say? Do a little dance, sip a little wine, and cook to, oh my God, like that song! <laughs> That's really cute. So, they arrive super safe. Look at that. Now, keep in mind that this is a curated box, so it's gonna be bottles that they picked just for you. And this is wine from Italy, France, Argentina, Napa. And you can actually select if you want red, white, or mixed. Oh, look at that beautiful label. That is so pretty. Curios. What is this? A Syrah? Oh, I love Syrah. Okay, then we have, this looks like a white, and this is Bergschrund. And this is a Riesling. Ooh, a dessert wine. Nice. Nice and refreshing. This is a Malbec. Oh my gosh, you guys, let me tell you about Malbec. I went on a date with this guy that would only drink Malbec wine. We went to a restaurant once where they didn't have Malbec. We had to leave. Yeah, we're not dating anymore. <laughs> Uh, Pinot Noir, nice. That's like a fancy label too. What about this one here? So this is just a white wine from the Côte du Rhône, which is a coast in France. Ooh, fancy. And then we have Le Flaneur Bordeaux Rouge. So this is just a red Bordeaux. Nice, look, that's so pretty. I may or may not be sitting on the floor at my front door uh, with a big box of wine. I think the best part about this service is that if there is a bottle that they picked out for you that you don't like, or that you will not drink, or that it's not your type. As long as it's unopened, you can actually ship it back and you will get a partial refund for your box. So if you guys are interested in checking out Hello Fresh Wine, I do have a 50% off discount code. So your very first box of six bottles of wine, no one's judging, will be 50% off, so it's kinda cool. Remember, if you don't like a bottle, you can always return it. As long as it's unopened, you're like, mm, I'm actually not a Malbec girl. Like for me, I'm traumatized. I'll never drink Malbec again. Just kidding. You never let anyone ruin wine for you, you guys. But you know what I was thinking is, if you guys already get HelloFresh delivered to your door, and you get Hello Fresh wine delivered to your door, you could almost do like a pairing. You know what I mean? Like you're like, oh, well I'm gonna have steak, so I wanna drink like a really delicious, hearty, um, oaky red wine. And so you look in your Hello Fresh wine box and you're like, ooh, I'm gonna open this one. Or if you're having fish and you just wanna have like a really light and fresh like Chardonnay with, I don't know, sea bass or whatever. I'm not a sommelier, you guys. I'm really not good at giving you wine advice. But I was thinking, I was like, I already get Hello Fresh. If I start getting wine as well, then I could like coordinate my meals. But then that means I would have to find out something to do with a whole bottle of wine. All right, what are we gonna do? I mean, that sounds like a problem and it sounds like I know the solution. So that's my HelloFresh bit. So if you guys are interested in checking it out, check it out. Otherwise, if you're interested in watching me eat or cook, we're about to do that now. So HelloFresh, saucy steak, Saucy time steak is what we're doing, right? Let's find that in the fridge. Keep your judgments to yourself. This fridge is kind of a disaster at the moment. Ah, uh, here it is. This is the one, saucy time steak. And then for the meat, we are gonna do the steak. Look at how delicious the steak is too. It's like super marbleized, so you know it's gonna be juicy. How big is that? That's what she said. <laughs> I'm only gonna take out one because there's no sense in cooking both, but it's kind of cool. Remember I told you guys when I have leftover ingredients for HelloFresh, I will incorporate them in a recipe at a later date. The other day, I don't remember what I needed, um, but I have my little HelloFresh stash over here where I have all like my extra condiments. You guys, they save me from a pickle more often than I feel comfortable admitting. I promise I go grocery shopping. So here's what we got going on. I really like these recipe cards because I actually save them and put them in a binder like a total dork <laughs> and then redo them later. Um, so it's gonna give you the list of ingredients on the front, a picture of what it should look like. Now keep in mind that you're at 
your discretion to do and your freedom to do it however you'd like. This is one of those recipes that I will just glance over and then just have my way with it in the kitchen. I don't necessarily follow it step by step. It does however have a really cool portion where it tells you the pans that you're gonna need. Use like maybe two pots and pans at the very most. So it's like easy cleanup. It's one of those like if you wanted to do this during the week when you come home and you're stressed out with work and you're tired, it's gonna be able to get done. So 30 minutes from prep to table at the most. Here is the ingredient list. So it's gonna tell you what's in there, or what you're gonna need, and then step-by-step -step pictures. So just a quick glance over, you're gonna need two cookie sheets here, or two, two trays or uh, hotel pans. And so it says you'll cook the uh, sweet potatoes for 25 minutes, and then you have to cook the green beans for 12. So what I would do is I would cook the sweet potatoes for about 15 minutes, and then sprinkle in the green beans over for the last 10. That's just kind of what I would do because I'm like, mm, do I really want to use another pan? Probably not. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Excuse me, can I help you? What's the matter? Oh, are you investigating? Are you my sous chef? You're lucky that has plastic wrap over it because I know it'd be all up in your mouth. All right, let's see what's in here. Bum, 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 finished product. So we have the saucy thyme steak with like the thyme demi-gloss. We have the um, 
green beans, almondine, and then just some roasted sweet potatoes. How delicious does that look? It literally took me less than 30 minutes. While I waited for the vegetables to finish cooking, I was able to clean up the kitchen and load the dishwasher. Winning. All right, you guys, don't lie. All of you cook in full face glam and a t-shirt, don't you? So I'm gonna sit down and enjoy my HelloFresh, but don't forget that if you guys are interested in signing up, you can get $30 off your first week of deliveries by using the code COFFEEBREAK30. So Coffee Break 30 will get you $30 off your first week of HelloFresh deliveries for the food. But, but if you're interested in their HelloFresh wine subscription, which I'm sure there are a lot of moms out there that perhaps take a bath or hide in the pantry with a nice glass of Malbec. And think about their times where they didn't have to hide in the pantry to enjoy a glass of wine. You could use the code Coffee Break Wine for 50% off your first month of HelloFresh wine. There you go, you guys. I, I feel like Santa Claus today. I feel like I just come bearing gifts of good news. 50% off wine or $30 off food. I'm actually kind of impressed because I was really, really hungry when I started cooking this and I was kind of a whirlwind in the kitchen using the same sheet pan. While the vegetables were cooking, I was able to clean the kitchen. Like I was able to do everything really fast in like 30 minutes and now I'm sitting down to eat. And if I could actually bring myself to stop talking, then I could actually enjoy this meal. So all the information for HelloFresh and HelloFresh wine are gonna be listed in the description box below. Um, but for now, um, I'm about to have this very romantic steak lunch by myself. Okay, maybe with my four dogs. Um, and open this bottle of wine. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna open this bottle of wine because it's 12 o'clock, but um, you know what? It's a happy hour somewhere. Um, hello, fresh wine. Don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> would it be weird to drink wine right now? It wouldn't, right? Because, I mean, when I was in Spain, they would drink wine at all times. It's just like, it's like soda or juice. I mean, technically, it's grape juice, right? Hey, you guys. Fourth outfit change of the day. Um, it's 2.30. I need to go to Sally Beauty and buy some disposable mascara wands and lip wands. Um, and then also like a sanitizing spray. Uh, and clear mascara. I'm only telling you this because if I say it out loud, then I'll remember the shopping list to myself. Do you guys ever do that? So that's what I'm gonna do. I have to go to Sally Beauty. I don't know if from there I'll head over to my friend's house to help them set up or I'll just come back home and get some work done. Honestly, I have no idea. The party starts at five, but I don't know what time I need to be there. I feel like I'm the entertainment. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm the clown and I'm like, does the clown get there after the party starts or does the clown get there before the party starts? I don't know, cause I've never hired a clown. <laughs> anyway, let's go to Sally Beauty. I shop there often. There's one very close to my house. And for some reason today, Sally was not on point. They didn't have anything in stock. None of the girls knew what I was talking about. And I went to the extreme of saying like, um, an antibacterial, a sanitizer. You guys have a Cinema Secrets dupe. It looks like this. I pulled it up and they had no idea what I was talking about. So I was so frustrated. I was like, do you guys have just alcohol? <laughs> um, no, we don't, but we have this other thing and it's this big jug and we use it to clean all our displays and whatever. I was like, is it sanitizing? Yes, okay, cool, that'll work. Oh my gosh, I was so frustrated! And I, I, I don't know, they had no idea what I was talking about. But I feel like this is a really great um, area of improvement um, in Sally because Sally Beauty is known for hair, you know, hair and hair dyeing, hair products, hair styling, uh, hair tools, um, and they're slowly getting into makeup and they're doing a very good job with brands like Collab. So the product that they're bringing is high quality stuff, but there's still that like gap in 
like employee or associate training or education where um, they need to be a little bit more familiar with makeup stuff. Um, not that I'm a pro or a makeup artist by any means, but anyway, it's uh, almost 3.30. I'm on my way to my friend's house. Um, I'm going to set up for him and then leave and then go back later. So hopefully, you guys, boys, am I right? That's the current state of our life right now. All right, you guys, it's 10 o'clock. What you hear is literally my life for like the last, I don't know, four hours. <laughs> oh my God, it's madness. Okay, so I had to do makeup on like nine, 10 year old little girls, 10 and 11. And they were like, can you do eyeliner? This one's crooked. It was so <laughs> cute. I don't think I've had this much fun in a while. Um, my friend kept saying like, are you sure? You don't need a break, are you okay? I'm like, no, this is, I live for this. This is great. So right now we're printing out little pictures and I would show you, but you know, privacy. Um, it's been kind of awesome. Selfie station, makeup, nails, and now, do you know what we're gonna do? Sheet masks. You know I'm all about that sheet mask life. So I figure they could wash their faces, clean up, and then do a sheet mask and it'll kind of bring down the mood and we can stop listening to Miley Cyrus. You know what I'm saying? And then go to bed and then I can clock out. <laughs> Love you guys. Hey you guys, happy Sunday. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. I actually woke up at 8.30. Um, how amazing does my hair look this morning, apparently? It looks good, it just feels very waxy. So oh. the appearance of this wave fool you. Um, so last night was so much fun, you guys. I can't even tell you. So I got to my friend's house. Um, Annie wanted to do this thing where um, he introduced all the little girls to my YouTube channel. Um, and then I like, like randomly show up, like I'm invited to the party and they were like, um, is that, is that you? <laughs> uh, they were playing my videos on the TV and I was like, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just here for a party. What are you talking about? <laughs> it was so cute. Two of the girls actually were already subscribers of my channel, which is weird. Um, these are 10 and 11 year olds. So it was pretty cool. Um, I'm also really excited because I got to meet two moms and it kind of gave me this um, feeling of like the divorce group, like the divorce community is a lot bigger than it feels sometimes. Um, and we all go through the same struggles and feelings and, and, and difficulties and um, it was cool, you know? It's, it's, it's cool to know that um, you have peers that have gone through the same thing or are going through the same thing and either they can contribute to your growth or you can contribute to theirs, so it was pretty cool. So there were two moms there, uh, my friend, and then I thought there were gonna just be eight little girls. I think there were nine or 10. And so we had like a, a manicure station, um, a makeup station, and then at the end of it all, I had them wash their faces and did like sheet masks and eye masks and stuff. They were out cold, let me tell you. They fell asleep uh, right away, which was great. Um, but the little girl, Avery, is such a peach. I told you guys that I miss teaching because uh, the time where I had the most growth um, and and uh, good experiences in my life was when I was teaching, you know, because kids, um, they're just brilliant. They're brilliant young minds and, you know, they have such a clean and good perspective on life. And she's just such a sweet girl. Um, it was it was a good experience, you know. I'm always telling you guys, like, I feel like I got ripped off. I have two sons. Um, so I was, I got my, like, I got my love tank full of, like, little girl love. Um, and they'd had a little selfie station. It was just so good. So much fun. Um, so I got home and I was beat. I don't. I I did makeup on all the little girls, which is so much fun. I don't do makeup. You guys know that. I do makeup on my face. I know the basics of makeup, and I know you know I could I could defend myself with makeup if I needed to, um, and do someone's makeup. But it was fun because it was just really cool to highlight their features. And if you guys see them in their pictures, they just look extra beautiful. Plus, like this, this group of girls really didn't need makeup; they were so pretty. So 10 o'clock, I left my house destroyed yesterday um, in a panic. I didn't know what I needed to bring over to my friend's house, so I like destroyed my entire house. I spent the good majority of um, the morning, uh, cleaning up, organizing my closet, uh, putting my makeup away, stuff like that. I clean my office. Um, I have a date at 2.30. Uh, it's a first date, so I'm excited about that. Um, but I think that's about it. That's how we got going on right now. Um, I feel great, you guys. This is amazing. Like, I was so nervous, and I think this is probably what happened is, I was so nervous about the iron infusion and, you know, what would it entail and how I would feel. Because you never know. I got a thousand milligrams 
of a mineral injected into my veins. You know what I mean? I'm like super skinny. Uh, I, I'm a lightweight and stuff. And so I was, I was nervous that I was going to have, you know, all the stuff that they said might happen, like muscle pain and um, headaches and all this stuff. And I did, like when I woke up on Saturday, yesterday morning, I had a really faint headache. And then my arm, the one where I got the infusion, um, was sore. But I think that was just because I was like still for six hours. Um, and then uh, the same day that I came home on Friday, I just had a really sour and like metallic taste in my mouth. But on Saturday, I was fine. You know, I took a Tylenol before bed on Friday and Saturday was fine. I mean, I was I was awake until 2 a.m. like last night or today. Um, I just I feel great. You know, I feel I feel amazing. But I also have to be careful of not overextending myself because you kind of know that's what I do. So right now I'm gonna take a shower, um, get ready. I think I'm just gonna have enough time to to do that and then be ready for my date. Anyway, that's all for now. The weather's kind of janky. Like it's not cold anymore, but it's really windy. That like windy that's disturbing. What is this? Sophie, can you say hi? Say hi to everybody. I took off their sweaters because it's like 70 degrees, but they look naked now. It's kind of weird. Uh, anyway, that's it. Bye. Hey, you guys. 2.30. Um, heading out the door soon. I'm meeting someone at 3 o'clock. I'm going to the star. I actually, I'm kind of having second thoughts. I don't know what to wear, and I'm very confused, and I'm kind of at that point where I'm just like, Whatever I walk out the door with is what's 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 walking out the door with me. Um, but my makeup is the tried and true like soft mauvey blush tones that I like to do when I go on a first date. But I did use the Naked 3 palette, which I hardly ever use. But whenever I use it, people ask me about it. So I'm going to put it to the test. I always complain about the Naked 3, like, oh, I don't like it. It's blurring. But every time I wear it, people like it. So I decided to take it for a spin today. But I'm having second thoughts on what to wear like instead of this like blazer, like sleeveless blazer, or that little cardigan that I have back there. Um, that's my mom texting me. I like sent her a bunch of pictures. I'm like, which one should I wear? Ah! <laughs> oh, and then my lips. Uh, Max Soar plus uh, Flower Beauty um, Nude Honey. So I have Max Soar as a lip liner and then the Nude Honey combo, uh, the lipstick first, and then the metallic lip topper. Okay, so here's the outfit. I'm wearing that cute little sweater from Express. It has that really cool detail on the sleeve and then this other side has like the open shoulder um, and then just a skinny black denim and suede black booties um, but then I put on this black sleeveless blazer but I'm not sure I feel like it's a little too um, what's the word like work kind of like work with like a little cute peekaboo here let's see the tribe has spoken what did my mom say this is the other option to wear that on top so Let's see what my mother says. Do you know what she asked me? She wants more options. That means she hates all of my choices. Great. <laughs> anyway, I'm heading out the door. Um, I'll bring you guys along. I probably won't vlog because it's a first date and that would be weird. I'll try my best to sneak some something in so you guys feel like you're on this date with me. Because you really are. Let's be honest. Hey, you guys. It is 8 o'clock. Uh, I already washed my face. Uh, you guys know, like, for some reason, when I start my vlogs, like, Fridays, I, like, take off, like, a racehorse, and then Sunday comes around, and, like, my vlog kind of dwindles, um, so I know you guys are dying to know where I got my shirt. No, I'm just kidding. Um, my date was pretty good. It was so good. I had never been to the Cowboy Club, first of all, so that was pretty exciting, but I could have been at McDonald's, and this guy is so sweet, first of all. First of all y'all know how i feel about liam neeson right i will not confirm or deny that he looked like a young liam neeson just throwing it out there so for starters that automatically guarantees a second date <laughs> anyway super sweet very excited to see him again um i haven't done anything today besides that i didn't get any work done i haven't done anything it's eight o'clock i'm super tired i feel what i did was a really big mistake and um i did my infusion on friday i felt amazing yesterday and i totally took advantage you know and i overexerted myself at this like slumber party it was totally worth it for the record I would do it again 17 times. Like it was totally worth it. But I think instead of like laying low and just relaxing, I was like, I feel so good. I'm going to do like 400 things instead of 200 things. You know, like I just went crazy. So today I'm just like super beat. Um, it's eight o'clock. I'm actually just going to go to bed. Just call it what it is. 
I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Um, but don't forget that this video uh, was partially sponsored by HelloFresh. So if you guys have been curious about trying HelloFresh, um, I do have a $30 off uh, promo code for your first week of delivery. It's Coffee Break 30. But all the details on that will be listed in the description box below like always. Now, do you guys hear that? That's how hard it's raining. Dallas weather is weird, let me tell you, super weird. Um, anyway, um, if you guys are interested in checking out HelloFresh Wine, 50% off your first month, you're welcome. Coffee Break Wine, 50% off your first box. Isn't that the great, isn't that like the best service ever? I'm already thinking about like how, what I can cook with the wine that I got. Do you wanna say hi? Hmm, do you wanna say hi? Say hi. Say hi, Bunks. Say hi, Bunks. What you doing? Come here. Say hello. Say hi, everybody. Say hi, I'm Leslie Bear. I'm Leslie Bear. Seriously, why is it raining so hard? This is so weird. Anyway, amazing first date. We're definitely having a second date. I don't know what I'm gonna do next weekend. Next weekend's kind of up in the air, but it might be a really exciting weekend. Like something's kind of like, you know, floating in the air, but it's not confirmed. So next weekend might be really exciting. Maybe not. Maybe it'll just be super normal and average, but I'm very, very, very looking forward to it. Uh, anyway, that's all for this weekend. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm kind of excited that um, you were able to come along with me at this, uh, at the infusion, and um, we got to cook together. Um, so anything that you guys saw in this vlog, uh, I will try and list and link in the description box below. I know last week um, I lagged on the description, but it was because I was out of town. I was in El Paso and I didn't get a chance to do it. It. but if you go back to that video it's updated now so if there was something that you saw or whatever the description box is currently updated um but that's it that's all i got for you i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog she has to be here i mean she does every 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 outro of every vlog with me huh sophia anyway so hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and you know what to do if you found this video useful entertaining and learned something please give me a thumbs up or a paw up and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time this coffee break is over bye guys i love you say bye sophia say bye no